What's up, everyone? Low end baseball here today. We got the guy here. This just came today. The videos will be posted up after this. But I'm recording these on April 26th. Low end baseball, as I said. We're going to be doing three separate videos. We've got six garbage <laughs> Don Russ hangers. Those I actually got out in the wild. As I said, those were $9.99 each. Pick those up at Target. These tops here, six hangers there. I picked those up on the secondary market on eBay. Those were about $12.50 each. At retail, they're $9.99, so you're not really paying too much more. Let me walk that back a little bit. That was when I picked them up about three weeks ago, so not sure what they're going for now. Heritage Baseball, also some low-end stuff. That's what we're doing this video. So these packs here got nine cards in them. These were $2.99 at Target. This blaster here was $19.99, amazingly enough. And these larger fat packs here, cello packs, these were $5.99. I didn't even notice this until just now when I was going to record, but you can actually see the top player there. Trying to read his name here. That's DJ LeMayhew. Who was that? Oh, that was Luis Urias. And then this one was Chad Kull. So quick opening. I'm going to bust through all of these packs. Give you a recap at the end. Let's get into it. Now, this is actually low-end stuff. I've never opened Heritage for myself. I like some of the throwback stuff. In terms of the card designs, these are 72 tops here. The previous year, the 71s, I thought they were kind of ugly. Wendell Davis got a Devin Williams cup. We call it a cup, not sure. Max Fried, Freddie Galvis, Martin Maldonado, then and now, Jim Palmer, Garrett Cole. Cool. Cool card. Justice Sheffield and... Boyhood Photos of the Stars, Ryan Mount Castle on the Mound. Definitely one hit pile. As I said, low end stuff. $2.99 a pack for nine cards of heritage. Seems a little pricey to me. What do you think? Tops packs are cheaper than that, I believe. We're talking about just in terms of respect on the secondary market. Rookie Stars, Dylan Carlson, Nevin White, nice one. Christian Walker, Christian Yelich in action. Jackie Bradley Jr. in action. And AL Home Run Leaders got Vote, Abreu, Ramirez, and Trout. For three, so we had six of these packs. We've got three of the fat packs, and then obviously we've got the blaster box there. And I've never opened this product, as I said before, so I don't even know what kind of inserts or anything like that that you're looking for. So everything I'm seeing here is going to be a surprise to me. There's Mr. Otani. Start he's gotten off to. The night I'm recording this, he actually picked up the win on the mound and did some work at the plate as well. A little rough start, Robinson Cano. Yikes. Dylan Carlson, rookie in action, and Patrick Corbin. So yeah, what do you guys think of Heritage? I know that it's all about getting the rookies right. So in here you're looking for a Bohm, Mount Castle we've seen already, not as base of course. Nate Pearson, another good one to get. Who do we got here? Mr. Clemente, the great one. In action, Alex Bregman. Oh, Calhoun. Danny Jansen. Always love the specs. Bellinger. Is that game one? Betts. Game five. Kershaw. Ty Botre. Shohei in action. Naylor. Rookie Stars. Hauk and Huff. And we've got another throwback here. Spencer Howard. Nice. I think we destroyed that pack. There we go. 
Blackman, Ruiz, Kipnis, Crawford, Charlie Blackman in action, Brian Reynolds, Colors, Cabrera, Darvish. Cello packs. All right, let's get on with these cello or fat packs. Looks like they have, oh, they've got a white filler card or something over the back, so you can't see the back part of the pack. You can't see the front card, though, so makes you wonder why they didn't throw a little something over the front as well. Cool. McNeil, Anderson, Guzman, Matt Olson, Brad Keller. Looks like we've got something shiny in there. Chris Bubik, Boyhood Photos of the Stars. Got an Aaron Nola. Set these over here. What do we got? Mets. I've got nothing in terms of who it could be. Maybe you want to see a DeGrom or something. Ah, huh, Jeff McNeil. <laughs> nice. Let's take a look at the back of that. Huh. Numbered. See? That's what happens when you have never opened the product before. What is that numbering? It's hard to tell. Numbered out of 572, so it's 350 out of 572. Then and now, Hank Aaron and Marcelo Zuna. Flores, Taylor Williams. Rookie stars, Abreu. Yarue, I think, Nelson. Not sure if I got that name right. Betts, Hayes, Judge, Taylor, Buxton, Bregman, and Chatwood. Base for days on those. What did we get out of that pack? Did we get, we just got the one rookie, right? The Bubik. And then the McNeil. E. <laughs> That's why I was saying is the price on these is a little bit stiff in terms of how the market, I think, perceives these cards. Oh, this one doesn't have the white in the back. Hmm. And we don't have any of the chrome card in there. So I guess I would explain why, perhaps. All about that base right there. Ah, the Winter Games kick off in Japan. Jackie Bradley again in action. Got that home run leaders card again that followed that one in the previous pack. There's a Joe Adele in action rookie. Cruz, Geo, Phillies rookies, Bohm, and Spencer Howard. Polanco, Grossman, and Siarte. Yeah, so far, in my opinion, I don't know how you guys feel about this stuff. I think it's trash. <laughs> I've never purchased Heritage off the shelves, secondary market, anything. This will probably be the only time I do it, even if something magically great came out of it. Just my perception of the product, obviously, is the hobby doesn't give a damn about it. <laughs> And I could see why, because you're kind of getting a lot of trash in these packs. There's a Mount Castle in action. Tigers, Rookies, Mize, and Scooball. Two solid young bucks there. Eloy. Got the Rangers, Tejada and Tavares. Hater. This dude is money. Second year Dubon went by the wayside. No big deal, though. Mets. Rookie stars Peterson and Jimenez, now with the Indians, obviously, and Vladdy. That pack was a lot better than the previous two, but still. <laughs> I stand by my assessment. I think that this is something that, if I see it on the shelf in future years, and check this out. Look for limited and exclusive 1972 Tops Venezuela stamps. I am not familiar with those. Look for a real one, autographs and relics. Maybe if you got an auto, it'd be worth it. There's some info there. Hopefully you guys are able to pick that up on the screen. There's the no purchase necessary info. If you're looking for that. Scranton, Pennsylvania. These here say they have 72 cards per box. I said it interesting that they were 1999 for these. 
because you can get a Topps Blaster that has 98 cards for the same price. So what would you rather have? 2021 Series 1 Topps Blaster. 98 cards for $19.99? Or one of these Heritage? Nine cards per pack here. Or one of these Heritage Blasters for the same price, I think. Most people are going to roll with the top series one. Strange Gordon, we got a Tatis. Centering on that card. Hmm. Take a look here. Yeah, that's off centered. That's off centered there, you could tell. PSA 9, baby. <laughs> Camp still around somewhere. Rookie stars, Kiva Ruiz and Mitch White. Pretty good one. I saw Mitch White do a little bit tonight for the Dodgers. Nate Pearson. There we go. New Age performers. Let me take a look. That one looks like looks like it's off centered as well. Left to right. Souza Jr. and Mr. Scherzer. Verdugo, Abreu, what is that? Whit Merrifield. And then there's another Mount Castle. Again, let me take a look. Hmm. Centering actually looks pretty good on that one. Top to bottom might be a little problematic. Let's put it in a good pile. Rookie Stars again, Hauk and Huff. Edmund. And Marlins, Rookie Stars, Diaz, Harrison. And Neidert. Spencer Howard again. Hmm. Interesting. All right, we've got four more packs before this mercifully comes to an end. Strikeout leaders. Glaber in action. Rookie stars Adele and Madrigal. I guess each team didn't have a second one that they could throw on there. All of the other cards we've seen so far, they had two guys from the same one. Two Tigers, two Rangers, like three Yankees, actually. Bregman in action again. Then and now Joe Morgan, Bryce Harper. Be interesting if they would just... There you go, Phillies, Bohm, and Howard. Like I was saying, two rookies from the same team. Then and now, you'd think they would get two guys from the same team. You know, past Joe Morgan, Red. Probably could put a Phillies guy on there, Bryce Harper. Cabrian Hayes, in action rookie. I'd imagine those are going to be less valuable than the regular rookie. Dylan Carlson, in action. All right, last pack. The pain is almost over. The recap should be quick because, as you've seen, there isn't really anything in Heritage that is worth talking about, in my opinion. I could be wrong on some of the values of this stuff, but I don't see any value in this. It's all junk to me. Nate Pearson in action. AL Home Run Leaders card again. <laughs> and Garrett Cole, so there you go. I'll sort through these real quick and give you the recap. All right, back with the recap. And this was total $46 worth of stuff that I purchased from Heritage. So these will just be the recap. Cards here, cards that I picked out that were decent. So you saw the video. I think you know that there's really no value there. McNeil, numbered to 572. Bubik. Japan Games, Joe Adell in action. Got the Bowman Howard rookie. Had a couple of those in here. Mount Castle in action. Scooball and Mize. Jimenez and Peterson. A little Vladdy there. Nate Pearson. 
UH performers. That was Mount Castle, Spencer Howard, Boyhood Photos of the Stars. Those are cool. Joe Adele, Nick Madrigal, the Bowman Howard again. Key Brian Hayes in action. Dylan Carlson in action. Nate Pearson in action. And Mr. Tatis, of course. Goes good with his latest SMR. As I said, to me, there's just no value in this stuff. It's trash. And that's why it sits on the shelves. My perception could be wrong. Like the designs, like the boyhood hero stuff. But in terms of buying this, no. I'm never... I'll never buy heritage again. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching, everybody. Let me know what you think. Do you like this stuff? Overall, the, the, the designs, the cool little boyhood stuff, obviously the rookie stars, how they have those. Those are cool, but would you ever buy this stuff in terms of if you're looking to invest, near term or long term? Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care.